everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. So today as you can see from the title, I'm hitting you up with your monthly dose of cleaning motivation. I know you guys absolutely love these videos. I tend to do them just once a month, just because I'm aware they can be a little repetitive. But today I'm actually mixing it up a little bit. I'm doing a spring clean and I'm gonna be using a ton of different products. And before we get into the video, I'm actually gonna be sharing and showing you where I picked up some of the products from, because they're actually from an online store called Cherries. Now, if you guys have been here for a while, you'll probably have heard me talk and share things from Cherries before because I'm absolutely obsessed. If you love saving money on everyday essentials such as like groceries, household stuff, personal care, then you are gonna absolutely love this website. They do actually have an app as well, which is where I prefer to do all of my shopping on. Just because it's so, so easy to navigate. You can just go on your phone, just pop over it in your bag, view it all nice and easily. Um, I will just share a little screen grab of the app just on screen now. Um, I do actually have a 20% discount code for the app which is Laura Region 20 and that's going to get you 20% off your first app order so definitely take advantage of that um, but yeah without further ado let me quickly show you some of the goodies I got from Cherry so just jumping straight on in two packs of crisps I have already eaten one that's why there's a hole in the bag um, Monster Munch and Skip they do so many just sort of like old school favourite crisps on there which I love then next up from the homeware department on cherries I got two tapas serving boards so they're two different ones um, I believe these were like £5 each which I thought was really inexpensive and things like this are just always nice to have out when we have guests over obviously you can have people in the garden now so you can just serve a few little nibbles in these so I really really like those now one thing I love about cherries is they always do like seasonal stuff so obviously now it's gardening season Season. they have a nice garden sort of department on their website and I come across these gorgeous bright white LED dragon light sets so just little dragonfly lights which you can just sort of like slot in your plant parts um, just around the garden and they light up so I just thought they were quite cute so I got two packs of those then I'm back on to food I then picked up two Betty Crocker cake mixes you know I absolutely love Betty Crocker's cake mixes they're so so good um, I've already had this one before which is the rainbow chip party cake mix if you watched my vlog and saw me make Make my rainbow cookies you need this for this honestly it is so good and then I also picked up a red velvet cake mix too and then it's not a cherry tool without stocking up on some goodies so I got these which I've never seen before they are drumstick chews and then just a pack of the squishies these are actually the sour cherry and apple ones then I just picked up some milky bars I use like half of one of these when I make my baked oats so they were coming really handy fave milky bar crispy rolls these are just so so good as a little sweet treat in the evening um, and also squares I really got back into these just lately oh and then for my nibble bowls I come across these on cherries these are chili rice crackers I feel like I always have these when I'm abroad um, you know when you're having a cocktail I feel like they always bring these out in a little bowl and they're so tasty oh and then also tapas bowls by the way everything always comes really nicely wrapped up and secured um, in your box so yeah you haven't got to worry about anything coming smashed because they really do take care of all of their products um, but yeah I picked up these two little love heart like tapas bowls I thought they were really cute as well and then I also come across these um, in the homeware section on cherries these are really inexpensive um, and I just thought these would look really nice with like a hot chocolate in these are going to be my hot chocolate glasses so I got those oh another pack of chocolates these are galaxy counters okay then I just picked up some mint sauce random Mitchell can't have any dinner with gravy without mint sauce like he's obsessed with mint sauce so it's stuck up on that then just picked up these gold eye gel patches I've had these from cherries before and honestly I'm obsessed with them they're so good if you just need an instant refresh under your eyes really recommend these and then I also picked up this you guys know I'm a sucker for stationery and it is a you got this notebook and pen set um, again really inexpensive and I just love that so pretty and moving on to the last few bits from cherries and the all-important cleaning stuff um, I picked up first of all sink refreshers. now my sinks have been smelling a little bit lately so you're supposed to just pop these in your sink and yeah they just get rid of the odors so we'll try them today that'll be interesting and then I also picked up a couple of fabulosas uh, you guys know I love these and I got the watermelon and finally got my hands on the intense one now again if you watch me on the regular you will know that I've been raving about this intense scent from Fabulosa for a while now um, and I've not yet managed to get my hands on the disinfectant um, I actually got another one of these so I stocked up on two of those because I'm gonna get through that quick then I just stocked up on some more Sif and um, this is the pink flower scent which is really really fresh then I got some new dishmatic heads now these are actually different to your standard green ones these are the extra heavy duty ones so they've got like a black um, 
surface. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see like how they differ from normal ones. And then the last thing I got, which we're gonna put on and light together, is this Unstoppables candle. This scent from Unstoppables is one of my favorite scents. It's the fresh scent and oh my goodness, this smells so good. So yeah, I cannot wait to burn that whilst we clean it today. But yeah, anyway, that is everything I picked up from Cherries, guys. Make sure you check them out. If you need to stock up on any cleaning products, household stuff, um, even just food bits and bars, definitely recommend having a look on there. They have some bargains. So definitely take advantage of my discount code if you do decide to check them out. So anyway, that is the haul done. We're gonna jump straight on into the cleaning. As you can see, I've shoved my hair up in a top knot today, shoved my cleaning jumper on, which is covered in cat hair because We've got a lot of cleaning to do. My house is an absolute tip. Um, so let's get in. Okay, so you guys know the drill by now. Before we start cleaning, we need to do our little preps and get us in the zone and mood. So I'm just gonna make myself a nice at home Starbucks iced caramel macchiato. So it just has vanilla syrup in and a little bit of caramel sauce. And oh my goodness, it is so, so good. Then I'm just taking my Mrs. Hinch cleaning book. I love to write a to-do list before I start my cleaning just because it keeps me on track with everything I've got to do. Um, and I just feel that level of satisfaction when I start to tick things off too. And it's time to light my new candle from Cherries, which is the Unstoppables Fresh. This smells so, so incredible. Really recommend this candle. Um, and then after, we're gonna put some music on because it's not a clean with me without putting some music on in the background. And then I've just got all of the cleaning products that I'm going to be using out today. As you can see, quite a lot of newbies, a lot of Fabulosa, um, and quite a few of these are from Cherries as well, and they do stock some of these. So definitely check Cherries out because they're really affordable. So of course, starting in the kitchen as usual, because I have an open planned house, I always feel like I have to start in the open plan space. So the kitchen for me is always where it generates the most mess, um, and I feel like it's the place that takes the longest to clean. So I feel like once I get this out of the way, my clean cleaning for the rest of the house isn't as bad if that makes sense. So first thing I'm doing is just simply sorting out my flowers. These were from my birthday. I had two lovely bunches um, and actually in this video whilst I film one does turn up from another friend. Um, but yeah, I'm just going through them and taking any dead ones out. Obviously some of them were still intact and looked lovely, um, but there were a few flowers that had died. So I tried to save what I could um, and I sort of mixed them together in the end. I uh, absolutely love having fresh flowers. Just something about having fresh flowers on your countertop that just makes you feel nice and home and yeah just positive it's really weird the impact that flowers can have on you Next up, I'm just quickly taking my Fabulosa in Intense um, Disinfectant Spray and just spraying down this side of the worktop. As you can see, it's absolutely filthy with the flowers um, and just tea stains and stuff. So quickly giving that a scrub. And then we're gonna move on to washing up. Now, my dishwasher has been broke for a couple of weeks now. And honestly, you don't appreciate it and realize how lucky you are to have a dishwasher until it breaks. I mean, there's only me here, but Mitchell does come around and I don't know, I'm someone that normally just shoves it in the dishwasher, so you don't realize how much time you spend washing up, if that makes sense, even just for one person. So yeah, gonna be so grateful when my new dishwasher comes, but for now, I'm just washing all the pots and stuff up. And then just as I had finished washing up, I had a lovely delivery of new flowers from my friend Liv here on YouTube. Thank you so much for these, Liv. They are so lovely. Um, and it really made my day. Like, it really made me smile because I wasn't expecting these. Um, so yeah, it's always lovely to receive flowers through the post. Right, now we're moving on to the back wall. So just giving all of the shelves a nice spritz with the antibacterial Fabulosa spray surfaces. And then I'll move on to polishing the silvers. As you can see, the old cat 
kettle has had to come back out guys because my smeg broke again so it broke originally i put it in the cupboard for i don't know like six seven months and then one day i was like oh i'll try and get it back out again and see if it works started working but it was a little bit intermittent um but yeah it was working but yeah it's gone again so oh it's so frustrating because it's such an expensive kettle so yeah, not sure what we are gonna do about the kettle situation, because it really bugs me now that they don't match. So I might have to just get a new one. Um, but anyway, moving on to the hob, just taking some sif and a minky and just giving this a scrub down. I then rinse, turn over the minky and just sort of like buff it in. And then I'll just take a window and glass cloth just to, you know, make sure there's no smears because obviously it is like a glass. Then I'm just taking my window and glass cloth and a little bit of the window and glass spray by Fabulosa and just cleaning my vase just because there was a few smear marks on and then pop in my faux hydrangeas. These are from HomeSense by the way, um, back in. Then moving on to the coffee section, just taking everything off the shelves and again, just giving the sides a nice spray down. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Next, moving on to the kitchen cupboard doors. These always get so filthy with them being white and obviously this is where I prepare all my food on the back wall. So yeah, just taking a microfiber cloth with a little bit of Fabulosa and water diluted on. Um, I was finding though that this was showing up quite a lot of bits still, like it was quite hard to get the bits off. So I did end up um, just simply grabbing some kitchen roll because I just found it was less bitty, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, just going over all of the cupboards and oh, they smell so good after you do this. Okay, then taking the sink refreshner sachet from Cherries. These smell so good. So simply just open up the packet, pop it down your sink, um, and then you're just supposed to flush some hot water through. And yeah, it does the job. Next, moving on to the bins. So I actually only changed like the general rubbish today um, and just kept the recycling one in the bin because it wasn't like full to the top. So I didn't want to waste like another bin bag. Um, so yeah, just simply cleaning this out. I just popped a little bit of sif in and then took my Fabulosa antibacterial spray just to clean down the inside of the bin. It wasn't too dirty, but it just makes it nice and refreshed. And then you guys know the little trick I use to keep the bin smelling nice and refreshed. Um, just take some Fabulosa or some Flora, pop it on some kitchen roll, put it in the bottom of your bin, new bin liner, and yeah, smells so, so good. <laughs> Okay, so back to cleaning these sinks. I'm just taking my sif. Um, I then take my dishmatic and just sort of go all, all around the sink um, and just give it a good scrub. I leave it for a couple of minutes and then I'll just rinse it all down. And then after I will go in with my sif stainless steel, steel spray. Oh, that was a little bit of a mouthful. Um, and then you want a nice dry cloth just to buff this in. Um, and yeah, it goes really nice and shiny. Okay, back to the kitchen worktops and again, just taking the Fabulosa in intense, um, spritzing this all over the worktops and just giving them a final clean down. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, now to sort out the dreaded cat litter area. I actually put like record on and it didn't film the first part where all the cat litter was over the floor. Nightmare. I clean this area like two to three times a day and it still gets filthy because I'll come back and then there's just everything all over the floor. Um, so anyway, get the floor a good hoover and then I'm gonna go in with my mop and just mop up this area too. Okay, and then I just quickly changed and obviously cleaned up the cat litter. Um, and yeah, that area was done. I do need to invest in some better bowls for the dry food because yeah, I'm currently just using some old plates and it just goes absolutely everywhere. Um, then I'm just hoovering all of the kitchen up with my new shark hoover. Absolutely love this. Um, it's definitely a little bit heavier than my Yuffie one, but I do feel like it is much more powerful. So yeah, really getting on well with it. Then just taking my flash speed mop, the spray one, Love this, so, so good. By the way, if you are wondering why my bar stool is next to my dishwasher, it's because it is currently holding it up. It doesn't close without that being there, so yeah. Anyway, moving on to the living room, I'm then taking my Primark Clean Cotton Fabric Spray. This smells unreal. It is admittedly a little bit pricey for how much you get. It was like £3.50, but I can't get over how good this smells. If you watch my Primark hauls, you will know how obsessed I am with the clean cotton scent, so I definitely recommend this. Um, um, and as you guys can see, I've got my cushions finally for my sofa. So if you've been following me for a while, you would know I had a massive dilemma with Sophology. Um, I originally got full back cushions. They were a nightmare, just didn't fit the sofa in my opinion. So I switched over to these um, and yeah, finally got hold of Sophology to actually order these. So I'm so chuffed that my sofa now matches and looks the part. Um, so yeah, I'm just obviously taking my brush, getting all of the cat hairs off and just any dust and stuff that's on the sofa and just giving it a good spritz. Okay, and then moving on to the coffee table, I'm just taking my Fabulosa Multi-Surface Polish Spray. This is in the Intense Scent again, which I love. Um, these coffee tables look the part, but are so bad for collecting dust. You have to honestly wipe them like twice a day. They just show every little bit. And either after you just wipe, a little bit of dust lands on the coffee table and you can see it again. So pretty annoying, but I do love this coffee table so much. Next, I'm just taking my shark hoover again and just giving the rug a nice hoover, trying to create some nice lines because it really bugs me if you don't hoover in lines. Um, I did notice a few marks as I was hoovering. It's crazy how like with a white carpet, you try and stay off it, you try and not, you know, take food or drinks with it, but marks just somehow appear. So I'm taking this vanished carpet spray and I actually really like this. So I normally use the Dr. Beck Beckham one, is that what it's called? Um, but yeah, it wasn't really getting the marks out on this carpet. So I switched over to this vanish spray and it's so, so good. I really, really rate it. So yeah, another sort of carpet spray um, to get rid of marks that I would recommend. Then moving on to the dining table area. And again, I'm just simply taking the polish and just polishing everywhere down. It wasn't too messy this area, but obviously I always have my table set up, like displayed. Um, and obviously it does collect on all of this because I don't obviously use this setup when I'm eating. It's merely just for display. That might sound really sad, but I just love having a set up dining table.
Okay, moving on to the bathroom. So starting with the bath first. So there was just a lot of soap scum and do you know when you've shaved your legs and all the hairs at the bottom of the bath? I know it sounds disgusting. Um, but yeah, I like to initially just give this a good scrub and clean with the flash bathroom liquid and just a scrub daddy. Wow, this is a scrub cat <laughs> because they've got new cat and dog ones out, which are really cute. Um, and then I just like to pop the shower on and rinse all that down. Now, as you can see, there's like a big black mark running all the way around my bath. Um, I initially I actually tried to use the pink stuff on this, but it didn't work. So we will revisit that and I'll show you what I do in a minute. Um, then I'm just taking some wipes and I'm also taking the flash bathroom spray just to, you know, add that on as well, just to give it a good clean down. I always start from the top to bottom when I'm doing the toilet and um, because obviously if you're using a wipe, you don't really want to start on the seat and then go and put that on the top, if that makes sense. And then just taking the toilet brush as well, spraying some flash bathroom inside the actual bowl of the toilet and just giving that a good scrub too. Um, and then just give it a flush. And then I'm just taking the new Harpic. I don't actually know what this is called, but it smells so good. Um, pop that down the toilet. And then I also got the Harpic sort of like toilet I always forget what these are called, but you know what they are. I'm popping that on the toilet too, and it smelled so fresh. Um, then I'm just putting bits and bobs away that were left out. Now I'm revisiting the bath. Now I'm going to run a bleach bath. So do this with caution. Make sure your windows are open because obviously this is so strong. But yeah, essentially what I'm doing is chucking a load of bleach. I feel like it was um, hair dye buildup that's around the bath, by the way. Um, a load of bleach, diluting it obviously with the water. I'm running the water right up until the line of the mark um, and leaving it for like a good three or four hours, but definitely do it with caution because obviously, depending what your bath's made out of, you know, I don't want to cause no damage to your bath, but it does work. I'll show you the finished result after. And then again, just taking my flash bathroom spray and just spritzing around the sink, um, the bath sort of rack caddy thing. Well, it's not caddy, bath rack. Um, and yeah, just wiping over everywhere. And then moving on to the towel rail, just taking a little bit of Fabulosa um, on some kitchen towel and just wiping over this. Um, it smells so, so good. And then just popping a fresh towel on there too. Um, and then I'm just taking my flash speed mop. I did hoover first, um, but yeah, then just taking the mop and giving the floor a good mop too. Okay, back to the bath now. So it's the next day. So I just wanted to show you the finished result of the bleach bath. So as you can see, there is one little mark still there. I don't think I filled it up as high as I should have, but all the other marks are gone. I'm so pleased with it. Um, it looks as new. So definitely recommend that if you have any tough stains, but like I said, be careful. Um, but yeah, this is the bathroom all clean. Um, and that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. And yeah, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Live